I was involved in various ministries, the ushers ministry, the men's ministry, getting involved in missions trips. And over time, my heart was more in the ministry than it was at work, my secular job. And when I approached Tina about that and I said, you know, pray for me because I feel the Lord's calling me into full-time ministry, she said, I'll buy you a Harley and you'll get over it. It's a midlife crisis. <laughs> it's true. I but, did. I did. <laughs> but it wasn't. We started in ministry here with children's ministry and also in the athletic ministry. So when I played basketball, she was with all the wives in the stands. So we got to know people here at church naturally. I started part-time in 2008 um, helping with marketing and in 2011 I came on full-time as the um, administrative coordinator of the women's ministry. We've been married for a 30, well this will be our 38th year and um, I've been coming here for 22 years. And I came on staff 11 years ago. Um, we were both backslidden Christians and Bev started coming here after rededicating her heart to the Lord at Rawls Church and she found her way here. So I didn't uh, attend uh, Epic High School Ministry until the beginning of my senior year so it was probably the best year I ever had during my high school years just because I was able to reconnect and with a family and be a part of something so much greater than there is out in the world. One of the things I like in it to a team is passing the baton. And so being able to see the baton pass to these younger people and mm -hmm. as they're, they've caught the vision and say, we want to further the ministry. And so they're running with us. And so that's my heart's desire is just to see more and more of that. I became a staff member at the church when Pastor David actually asked me to pray about coming on staff as the worship minister. We both got confirmation that the Lord was telling us, yeah, this is what He's calling me to. And though it was scary, we just went for it. When I came here to Calvary Chapel, we had come out of a very hard time in my family's life. And so my mom and I got saved. We came here and, you know, time goes on and I began to see the need to reach people with the gospel. Um, after several years of just being trained and discipled here, Pastor David sent us out to Morocco and so we were able to go to North Africa in 1999. We were blessed to be able to reach people across the world that have never heard the gospel. And um, we were there for 13 years. While we were dating, my wife and I were looking for a church. We found Calvary Chapel. Um, soon afterwards, we went through our premarital um, counseling. counseling and Pastor David married us and uh, each one of our kids has been uh, dedicated here at the church, Josh being one of them. And when Josh came on staff, it was humbling and kind of awe, and we had you know, no idea that this is the journey the Lord was taking us on. Teaching the Word of God verse by verse, chapter by chapter, has really given me a solid foundation and showed me how to teach, even in junior high and um, just instruct them practically and just break down each word for them so that they understand it, grab a hold of it, and even run with it. And so thank you, Pastor. Well, to Pastor Dave, uh, I'm greatly indebted. He's my spiritual father. I got saved under his ministry. I owe him a lot in his faithfulness, his example to me as a man as a husband, as a father. We clung on to those Bible studies on Wednesday nights and Sunday nights and Sunday mornings, week after week after week, uh, by a faithful man who is our earthly shepherd and have grown to the people we are um, because of great examples in Pastor, in Marie, in the body here in general. But Pastor David, uh, no words, only tears express our gratefulness and we love him so much and we love Marie so much and we are so grateful 
I'd like to say uh, congratulations to Pastor David and his family for serving the Lord for uh, the 36 years that he has uh, done. Uh, but more intriguing for me, uh, coming from San Diego, is to find a good church home and a good Bible teacher. And uh, Pastor David has been that. He's been that for our family. Our children is, uh, have been raised here in the church. And I'd just like to say thank you uh, for bringing the unabridged uh, Word of God to us. I love Pastor David, and I think many people um, will agree with me. He's just, what you see is what you get. Um, but uh, I thank him for who he is and what he stands for. And Marie, who I work alongside, I, I would just, I would die for that woman. I love her. Starting working here is way more than just getting a job. Um, being here has completely set a foundation for us. It's helped us both grow in the Lord apart and together, serving together. We've met all our best friends here. I am just so thankful for this ministry and this church and Pastor David. He has um, been my pastor my whole life. I've always looked up to the way he teaches and I would I just want to thank Pastor David for, you know, obeying the Lord and, and continuing his ministry. I'm forever grateful to have this place and a pastor that teaches the word. I'd like to say to Marie, um, Thank you for all the sacrifices you made with your family for this ministry. And also, thank you for being a wife that frees up her husband to do ministry. That was such a great example. For me, Pastor David is my pastor, but also my spiritual father. I came to that realization many years ago. And so for that, it's he's not David Rosales. He's Pastor David. And that's the role he plays in my life. Hearing him one-on-one -on -one talking with me and my coworkers, he's the same person as he is on the pulpit as he is when he talks to us one-on-one. -on -one. He, he is always consistent. He's the same loving pastor as he is on the pulpit to all of us as a staff. I know for me, coming out of a background, there was topical teachings. Uh, and then coming to a verse by verse, I was like, how, how did I not have this before? because it's so practical and makes so much sense to teach through the Bible. And so um, I'm honored to learn that and apply that to my ministry in my life. Where I can sit under Pastor David and know and respect the things that he's saying is coming from truth and of love, and I appreciate that so much. Well, I was due March um, 26, 2015, but um, my water broke extremely early at 22 weeks and I ended up having this little guy at um, 23 weeks and five days on December 2nd, 2014. I think it was the morning, that Sunday morning that I came to church and she was to, she hadn't had the baby yet and I saw Pastor David, it was just him and I and I started to cry and he encouraged me like a father just saying you know what's the worst that can happen and I started crying and said he could die and he said um, but you know where he would be and we know that the Lord's in control and we know that the Lord can heal they said when he was born that he had a 26 percent chance to live he's fine and um, he's walking and running and, and laughing and he's just this awesome, well-behaved boy for now. <laughs> um, on a personal level though, I, I would say thank you to Pastor David. Again, he's the real deal. Yeah. That's as much as I can say. And I can honestly say that my dad has never ever discouraged me um, from what godliness looks like, from what a, a good man looks like, from from what a pastor is supposed to be. He's always pointed me to Christ. He's always pointed me um, to the Lord, to the gospel, to the word. You know, me not necessarily having um, a earthly father to, um, to look up to and um, be that example for me and what to look for in a husband. Um, I had a spiritual father in Pastor David who I never would have imagined would become my father-in-law as well. And so um, growing up and being able to look up to him in that way and, and one day think to myself, that's what I want. He very much to me is um, is more than, than just a spiritual father, than just a pastor, than just a father-in-law, any of those things. He very much is like a dad to me and, I, and I'm very thankful for that. What can I say? 
I came here at 14 out of a broken, divorced family, and it was here under Pastor David that I came to know Jesus Christ. He baptized me. He discipled me. It was under Pastor David that he married me and my wife. Uh, Pastor David has dedicated our children, and Pastor David has just been a, a tremendous part of, of our life as a family. And um, I feel eternally grateful to him. I look up to him, and I look up to Marie, and all the love that they pour out. And uh, it comes across the pulpit always. So I just want to say thank you.